Rittenhouse Square is such a delightful place to visit, and certainly uh, the works of art add history and, and beauty to the square. And this one here uh, was done by Beatrice Fenton. Now, she died in 1983, but we can still hear her voice courtesy of a recorded interview in the Smithsonian Archives of American Art. Sculpture always looks best outdoors, and in an outdoor setting is the ideal place. If it's standing free, it's always much better than that surrounding. My name is Paige Talbot, and I am a public historian with a specialty in American art. Here you have this lovely piece of art right on the northeast corner of Rittenhouse Square, and it consists of two happy children who are nude, who are holding up a sundial in the form of a sunflower. Those who knew and loved Evelyn Taylor Price decided to remember her in the form of this very beautiful monument. She was just very charming, and she loved gardens, period. My name is Evelyn Scott, and Evelyn Taylor Price is my grandmother. I'm very happy to have felt that I was named after because I did admire her tremendously. The reason she was memorialized here is because she was head of a significant civic enterprise that was ahead of its time, which was the Rittenhouse Square Flower Market Association. She was head of that for actually more than 20 years, from 1916 to 1939. It was beautiful. Uh, everybody, everybody in the city participated in setting up booths and then selling their, their flowers and all the, the money all went to, to, to charity. This market set a precedent for a kind of civic engagement, for people to support the square and local charities, and the flower market continues on to this day. Mrs. Price had died some years earlier, but it took several years for the Rittenhouse Square Flower Market Association to raise the money and to commission artist Beatrice Fenton to create this sculpture in 1947. Beatrice Fenton was born and raised here in Philadelphia. Her father had connections with many artists, including probably the most famous local artist of the 19th and early 20th century, Thomas Aikens. And when Fenton was a young woman, her father showed one of her sketches to Thomas Aikens. And here is the artist, Beatrice Fenton, in her own words. Mr. Aikens was responsible for my being a sculptor very largely because then when he saw the work, he said, go get some clay and model. And that's the way I turned to sculpture. Beatrice Fenton represents a group of women who, from the latter part of the 19th century and continuing through the first part of the 20th, were successful professional artists, as opposed to women who pursued painting or drawing as a hobby. The sculpture has Evelyn Taylor Price's name around the bottom, and it also has an inscription. It says, the hour passes, friendship abides. It was the most beautiful dedication to my grandmother for, to have it there because that was really one of the biggest, her biggest projects. She would have been very modest about it, but very appreciative. 